Yo, what is going on guys? I'm back with another video today. I am back for the second episode of my progress videos on Valheim RSPS. Once again, I am preparing myself for the Board Hunter PVM event that will happen in one week from now. So definitely stay tuned for that as well because I will be making a lot of episodes while this event is live. But anyways, before we get into today's video, I just want to announce a giveaway of 100 bonds. There will be 5 different winners winning 20 of these bonds each. All you have to do to enter the giveaway is make sure you are subscribed, make sure to turn on notifications, make sure to like the video and comment your in-game name down below. The winners will be picked in just about 2 days as always they will be announced in my community discord in the service discord and on my pinned comment links of discords are down below in the description so definitely make sure to join those anyways the goals for today's video is basically to max out my account so i can start doing some bossing content maybe even do some bossing content in today's video get some gear upgrades and so on and hopefully in the next few episodes i can get my account fully prepared for some huge bosses that i will be doing during the pvm board hunter event Right, so massive shout out to Zin right here and also to Vibby because they both gave me a bunch of dragon bones, also some uncuts and raw food which will help me out so much during the grind. Um, so yeah, massive shout out to those guys for giving me some free bones for my prayer gains. Also, I should mention when I got these bones that is because I joined the clan chat of Zin Hyperion and in Hyperion they are also hosting some giveaways which I am participating in and hopefully I can win myself something juicy that will help me out with the progress as well they basically asked if anyone had some spare bones i expected to get maybe like 100 or something but they actually gave me 1.5k which is absolutely amazing so um yeah hopefully these 1500 bones will get me to quite a nice prayer level maybe even let me switch to curses that would be super awesome anyways i'm going to afk for quite a while now Alright, so I'm not gonna complain, sorry if my screen is lagging by the way, I'm rendering my previous episode at the moment, but someone dropped an abyssal wand and orb at the home area, so I'm not gonna complain, just picked it up off the floor, easy gains. So I'm quickly going to use my ghostly essence on the ectoplasmator to make this a tuned ectoplasmator, which is of course the upgraded version. Um, check charges, this has 5000 charges now, I think you will need to add ghostly essence once it is out of charges to get more charges, but this will help me out with some more prayer gains whenever I'm killing ghostly creatures. And we are about to hit 99 prayer thanks to those 1500 bones that they gave me. Anyways, the rest of the bones that I have in here, I want to give back to one of you guys who still needs 99 prayer. So if you see me in game and you still need 99 pa uh, prayer, drop me a private message and I will give you those 150 leftover dragon bones. So you can go ahead and train up your prayer as well. Right, so I did a whole lot of dungeoneering as you can see. Um, got quite a lot of stats up as well. But the main thing is I saved over 200,000 dungeoneering tokens which will allow me to buy the chaotic staff which I will be using from um, level 80 magic all the way up to 99 and probably for quite a while because this is a very decent stuff. Anyways, just open up a few more of these uh, mystery boxes that you get. Uh, mainly I will only showcase if I get something really special from them. For the rest I'll just open them off screen because they aren't that interesting to open up. And another pair of dragon plate legs has dropped from steel dragons. And there we go, that is another visage at kill count 41. That is the third visage on my account so far. And another dragon plate skirt. And another dragon plate legs. And we just got ourselves our first polypore stick. I can't even see it because this fat guy is sitting on it. But there we go, first rare drop of Ganodermix, the polypore stick. Easy gains, another polypore stick. Right, third polypore stick and 12 kills. I'm gonna stop recording these. And we should be hitting 99 constitution anytime now, which is another 99 combat skill. There we go. This will be super useful for everything, of course. HP is always super nice to have. And here we go, we just hit 99 Slayer, another 99 that is very useful and also very needed for the um, Bolt Hunter event because there are a lot of NPCs or drops that you will have to kill NPCs for that require a certain Slayer level. Just got myself a Dragon Ward drop from one of these Muspas, which is a collection log item. Right, so I was doing some Slayer uh, while I was actually following my college class and basically while I was doing Slayer I got myself more TD Constitution pet at level 100 Constitution. So that is pretty awesome, that is the first pet on my account. Hopefully we can get some more pretty soon but I re I'm really excited about the first pet being Morty. 
And there we go, just got myself 99 magic, which is another combat 99 completed. Oi, my boy RNG Adami123 is giving me an armadillo chest plate and a wyvern crossbow, which will help me out for my range gains, of course. Um, I just want to mention while we are with him, um, this is one of my team members for the PVM board hunter events. I have three or four team members already. I'm not sure about the fourth one yet. Once I know that, I will let you guys know as well so you guys know who is on my team for the PVM board hunter event. And hopefully with us four, we will be able to get as many slots completed as possible. And we are about to hit, there we go, 70 divination. Now this is actually really good because I believe I should now have all the level 70s required for the invention. I'm not 100% sure yet, but I believe I do. So it turns out I'm absolutely retarded and you need level 80 of each of these skills in order to have access to the invention guild and access to the invention skill. We just got a nice war priest, Bandos helmet, which is our first Bandos war priest item. Okay, so this is actually pretty cool. We just got Raptor Key Part 4. You can actually get four parts of these and then combine them to open up the Raptor Chest, which can give some really cool rewards. Um, I wasn't even thinking about getting this drop because I completely forgot it existed, but that is actually super nice. And we are about to hit ourselves 99 strength, which will be another combat 99 completed. Only attack and defense left, so we are almost fully maxed out combat. Um, what? I just got another raptor key part 4. That's actually pretty cool. So maybe we can get multiple keys eventually? Uh, so yeah, we got this one and we just got a back-to-back -back raptor key piece. These must be very common, but they can give sick things, I remember. So I'm quite confused, but I like it at the same time. And we have another raptor key part. I think these are actually a common drop because this can be happening. It's 3 in 1 inventory. And we just hit 99 attack, which means we are moving on to defense, which is our last combat skill that isn't 99 yet. So let's go ahead and get it finished. And we are about to hit 99 defense, which means we are now fully maxed out combat, which is absolutely amazing. Yo, I just got Cinderbane gloves as a drop from these vine crawlers. That is pretty sick. I hope I get these as well when I'm doing the um, PVM board hunter event, because that's one of the drops on there, unfortunately. We got it before that, but it's still, it, I think these are best in slot range gloves anyways. So now we hit 80 smithing and now we should have the ability to unlock um, invention. And it is time to get ourselves another 99 and there we go, that is 99 crafting completed, pretty awesome. So I have decided since I am max combat to get myself a reaper task from death, um, simply because this will allow me to do multiple different bosses that I might not feel uh, comfortable with but they might just push me to go ahead and do those bosses get some really cool drops upgrade my armor and all that good stuff so from now on boss layer is one of the things that i will be doing once again oh nice we just got ourselves a zamorakian essence from our third or fourth kill at twin furies and here we go this should be the final twin fury skill of our first boss slayer task as you can see right there you have completed the death assignment gaining 850,000 slayer experience and 25 reaper points which is absolutely amazing oh very interesting new reaper task a jad which is actually super nice because this will allow me to upgrade my cape into a fire cape so that is really nice and of course later on we will have to go ahead and sacrifice that fire cape in order to be able to get the fight kiln capes the melee ranged and magic virgin of course and here we go that is our um, new reaper task completed of the jet which also gives us the fire cape of course which is a very nice upgrade 750,000 slayer experience and 22 reaper points um, which is pretty sick there we go just completed another reaper assignment 500,000 slayer experience and we are about to hit yet another 99 which is 99 cooking pretty nice cooking up myself some sharks or of course some extra food during pvming holy shit so i just completed my first good cash mini game and as you can see i just got 2.3 million divination experience from one of these which is absolutely amazing so from now on i will be only doing these good caches for divination because like five of these will get me maxed out which is of course super nice as well besides that we also got 
a divination rope which is one of the divination armor pieces this will give me a certain um, bonus experience and also a little boost whenever you finish the good cash i'm not going to make use of that right now but 2.3 million experience that is actually insane so i have camel warriors as a slayer task right now which is perfect because i need to train on these um for the pvm board hunter event anyways but this is going to take quite a while so therefore i will be ending off today's episode right here i will be catching you guys back on my next episode right here at the camel warriors as well hopefully with a camel staff as a drop that would be absolutely amazing but anyways with all that said this is where i will be ending off today's video guys i hope you guys did enjoy this video if you did make sure to smash the like button subscribe if you didn't already also make sure to enter the giveaway and i'll be catching you guys in my next video peace